I want to read part of an article to you and it is from BibleKnowledge.com Signs of Demonization and I believe that is signs that you may have demons living inside of you. So let's go to part two. Look for these basic demonic manifestations. Okay. As you are listening to the person's entire story and how they may have gotten these demons on the inside of them in the first place, look for some of these basic demonic manifestations in their story. And also, do not be afraid to ask the person if they have ever had some of these basic manifestations occur with the demons. Now, here are some of the basic manifestations that demons will do with the people they are inhabiting. One or two of these manifestations may not be able to stand by themselves. But when you get someone that has quite a few of these manifestations occurring on some type of regular basis, then the chances are very good that they really do have demons literally living on the inside of them. Okay. Hearing voices on the inside talking to them, these voices may also refer to the host in the third person. The next one. Feeling or sensing the demons moving on the inside of them. Feeling pressure <clears throat> and movement in the head and stomach areas. Demons can also attack the central nervous system. So it feels like the person is going crazy at times. The next one. Having bad and frequent nightmares. Sometimes with the same bad and horrific nightmare being repeated over and over again. May have seen some of the demons in an actual vision. Can sometimes smell the demons who have a very putrid and toxic smell to them. Demons can also smell like burning sulfur at times will have strong inner compulsions to do bad things that are not in their normal behavior patterns like having bad thoughts of suicide and murder can also have very strong addictions to things like drugs alcohol and pornography abnormal fascination with the occult or any type of criminal activity, abnormally strong feelings of rage and hate in them that are not part of their natural personality and makeup. Demons can also transmit heavy feelings of despair, hopelessness, depression, and they have committed the unpardonable sin of blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Irrational fears, panic attacks, and phobias on some type of a uh, regular basis. Periods of having lost all sense of time from minutes to actual hours and can sometimes 
end up somewhere and not knowing how they got there. Also, regularly doing things for which they have no memory of actually doing. At times, can sense an evil presence on them, in them, and in the houses they live in. Will feel cold spots in certain areas of the houses they are living in with these cold spots not being by in open windows. Will sometimes see dark shadows running across some of the rooms in their houses, especially in their bedrooms. Can have poltergeist type phenomena occurring in their houses such as material objects flying across the room, doors opening up and slamming shut all by themselves, drawers opening up on their own, hearing footsteps shuffling across the floors, and, and scratching type noises on the walls along with the electricity going on and off and material objects actually disappearing. In the more extreme cases, the person can literally find themselves levitating right off their bed at times, may have the ability to speak in a foreign language of which they have no natural knowledge of, can be capable of great abnormal physical strength, can receive mild to strong trembling and shaking sensations on different parts of their bodies, can also receive choking sensations and a tightness around their head and eye areas. Interesting. Abnormal amounts of dizziness, blackouts, and seizures. Very heavy, uncontrollable twitching type activity on certain parts of their bodies, like their face and their arms. May have had some out of body experiences especially in cases of sexual abuse and satanic ritual abuse. Have a very hard time in praying and reading from their Bibles. Can also have an actual revulsion of the Bible to the point of wanting to try and tear it apart or burn it. A compulsive desire to want to curse and blaspheme God and Jesus. Can have multiple personalities in them which are known as altars. May have tried other kinds of treatments and medications from other psychologists and psychiatrists with no real help or relief ever being given to them. The demons can at times take control of their vocal cords and speak right out of the person's mouth. When this occurs, the tone of the person's voice could change like a woman speaking out in a man's deep, husky voice. Demons can also emit animal-like sounds out of a person's mouth and vocal cords, like the hissing of a snake, the growling of a lion or tiger, or the emitting of a bang-type howl like a wolf. They can also let out very loud screams 
and yells, especially when being directly confronted by the deliverance minister during the actual deliverance itself. The demons can also manifest in the person's eyes where you can see them literally looking at you. What you will see when this occurs is pure evil and pure hatred looking at you. You will also see this look from the demons being captured in some of the person's past photographs as some of these demons love to show themselves in the person's eyes and continents when photos are being taken of them. Another type of look you can see when the demons are looking out of someone's eyes is what I call the hollow look. When you see this type of demonic look, it is like you are looking into someone who has no personality. They will look soulless and lifeless to you when you see this type of look coming out of their eyes and you will also know that it is not the personality of the person you are looking at. Different types of facial contortions which no longer look like the person such as glazed eyes, blank stare type eyes, eyes rolling backwards where all you can see are the whites of the eyes and stretching the skin of the face into a contorted hissing like expression. Different types of bodily contortions like people slittering across the floor like snakes, getting on all fours and barking like dogs, growling like lions, or howling like wolves, abnormally stretching out their spines, fingers and hands locking up and going rigid, and demons grabbing a hold of a person's throat in order to try and stop them from talking with you. The demons can also whip the head in a very rapid side-to-side -side type movement, stretch the neck out as far as it will go, along with jolting portions of the body, causing those portions to move in a very rapid side-to-side -side type movement. If the person has had any type of activity in their background, or if any kind of this activity surfaces or manifests while you are talking or praying with the person, then there is a very good chance that you are truly dealing with a person who has demons living on the inside of them and they will now need a full scale deliverance from the Lord. So let me stop right here. God bless you.